Hey there, I'm Mike Packer, and I'm here at Drum Channel, and uh, wanted to do a little quick talk about uh, ghost notes and how you can use them in grooves to kind of spice up your groove and uh, make sure that the subdivision is really present within the groove without uh, playing them too loud and abrasive. So ghost notes are typically played very soft. So to do that, technique wise, you typically just use a wrist pivot and play tap strokes and play them softly. Now, they can also um, re require some different technique uh, that fits within the groove and all, all the technique that you would need to play them in pretty much any situation are covered in the lessons here on drum channels, okay? So let me play a few uh, examples of, of how you can use those ghost notes and you'll see me playing them as either wrist pivot or as a prep stroke uh, in front of a backbeat, okay? Here we go. Okay, so I started out pretty simple and then gradually started adding more notes. Now, for me personally, I love using ghost notes uh, as part of my groove playing, especially funk groove playing, because I think it adds uh, a lot of personality and a lot of musicianship to the groove itself. So again, tons of, of examples of ghost notes and the technique to play the ghost notes here at DC. Uh, I really recommend that you check out all the videos, especially the ones with Ralph Humphrey, Joe Picaro, all the great technique videos here. And uh, dive in and, and have fun with them, play them. Uh, they're going to add a lot to your playing. Thanks.